The human brain is the most complex structure that we know of. It processes the input from our senses, coordinates our movements, and is responsible for the multitude of our thought processes. At the basis of all our brain's abilities lies the activity of single nerve cells. Finding out the rules of their interplay is the goal of computational neuroscience. Nerve cells communicate in the form of electrical pulses that are passed along from one cell to the next. These pulses actually encode information, which is then processed within a nerve cell. The result? The cell either reacts by emitting a pulse of its own, or remains silent. However, the human brain does not consist solely of only a handful of nerve cells. Rather, an estimated 10 billion of them exist in the cortex alone, with each of these single cells communicating with up to 10,000 of its neighbors. The question is, therefore, how can we investigate and describe these processes in a scientific way? And how does the activity at the cell level relate to what we eventually perceive as the brain's abilities or dysfunctions? In order to understand these processes, it is important to realize one central fact. Nerve cells form a network. Whether we are talking about a network of social interactions, the World Wide Web, or the brain, networks adhere in their functions to certain rules. If we want to understand the network that is our brain, we have to take a look at single nerve cells. Helpfully, the rules that lie at the basis of their behavior can be described in the language of mathematics. By taking this approach, mathematical equations help to explain why a network develops in a certain way or reacts in a specific way to outside influences. Furthermore, an additional advantage is that once these processes are described as an equation, they are then able to be dealt with by computers. This way, artificial networks can be created that resemble the structure of a nerve cell population within the brain. Today, computers have become powerful enough to provide realistic simulations of neuronal networks and help to understand phenomena that was observed in experiments. Yet still, recreating a complete human brain is a distant prospect. The results of these computer simulations can be compared to insights that neuroscientists have found in their investigation of real brains. The ongoing exchange of theoretical and experimental data is of great importance. It ensures that the abstract models are consistent with reality. Describing the brain's processes by using mathematics and running simulations of networks and computers aids our understanding of how billions of nerve cells cooperate and how this results in the processing of input from our senses, the coordination of body movements and the ability to think. This increased understanding will also help us to find causes for certain dysfunctions of the brain. These are the principal goals of computational neuroscience.